it. I just knew it. I knew it all along. Boy, I love to be in right all the time. You can't have for once of just straight out, no, you're fucking wrong, and here's the facts. Every time I say something about this fucking studio, what happens? They prove me fucking right. And next year later, they're going to do Beast Wars? You expect me to believe they're going to do a good job with that? When they literally killed this film and missed the point of Snake Eyes? They missed the point? Mmm, man. You Hasbro fans, you guys, oh, god damn. You guys really don't know what you're fucking smoking. You guys think they're going to do a good job with Transformers? Yeah. Um, not saying a lot. Not saying a lot. Even though I hope David K is in the film and voicing Megatron. And oh boy, I would absolutely say yes on that. But yet again, who oh, I'm kidding. I'm just a piece of shit fan. Literally saying his goddamn opinion and disagreeing with this fucking ridiculous studio who clearly doesn't understand Transformers, who clearly doesn't understand fucking G.I. Joe, if their life depended on it. It's pretty fucking bad. G.I. Joe is dead in live action. You had your three tribes. You try to fix your fucking problem with the uh, second movie. That failed. Actually, I'll take that back. First, you failed miserably on the first movie. Then you try to kill off almost all the characters and just have The Rock be the main star of the second G.I. Joe and hopefully could go forward in the future G.I. Joes. Then you just decided to say, okay, why don't we just straight out reboot the franchise, start all over, and have it where we have this movie be successful and then do origin movies, and then later on they have it where we do the big crossover and eventually go on a future crossover G.I. Joe Transformers live-action uh, crossover movie. I want to laugh hard, but, you know, my mom is trying to sleep as and just ready for work and all that stuff, but it's just... <sighs> Keep proving me right, Paramount. Keep proving me right, Paramount. You shouldn't own the rights of Transformers. Hasbro, please stop. Just stop. God forbid what they're going to do with Power Rangers. You know, I, I'm going to say this right now. I, I, oh, dude. I, <laughs> I know, I know. I actually like that movie. I actually thought X-Men Origins Wolverine was not that bad of a movie, except few details that I thought, hey, you know what? If they fix it or just change it to a different character, I think that could have done a better movie. But yet again, didn't need it to happen. No. They already did his origin, but it is what it is. In my eyes, in my opinion, G.I. Joe is a failure. It's a failure product. They obviously don't get what makes G.I. Joe so goddamn good, Tevia. And I'm sorry for all those people that disagree with me and thinking, oh, you don't understand they're doing it for the fans. They're doing it for the fans. Sure they are. They fuck up Snake Eyes. They made the last two fucking attempts look like a masterpiece. I told you all this looked bad. This looked awful. I knew this is the third G.I. Joe movie and you fucked it up. Not once, not twice, but three times. Three times. One was a sequel. You tried to have The Rock be the main lead actor for your face of G.I. Joe. You failed miserably. 
Face it facts, Hasbro. Face it facts, Paramount. G.I. Joe is no fitting and no, I will say this right now, has no right to be in live action. I'm saying it because you fucked up three times. In my opinion, I would su- s- scrap everything and just literally sell it to somewhere else. Maybe Warner Brothers, if they got their shit out of their asses, or give it to Sony. Maybe they could do it better. And I'll laugh as hard if Sony does a better job, a G.I. Joe movie, than fucking yours truly, Paramount. That piece of shit fucking studio that is no better than Warner Brothers. And honestly, I'm afraid. As much as I'm excited to an extent, because I'm not going to bullshit you guys, I do am looking forward to Ron Perman's betrayal as Optimus Primal, because he did play him once in the Transformers uh, Power of the Primes, I think that's what it's called. To really, he did a really good job as Optimus Primal, but I, I I do love the original voice actor who did Optimus Primal. He's he's my favorite. He will always be my favorite. Um, but I mean, I hope that they get David K. Uh, for Megatron, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, Paramount has no business doing GI Joe movies. They want to do that GI Joe. Transformers crossover. They tried every time to make this shit happen, and they failed miserably. You just don't understand what makes G.I. Joe. Another thing, too, not everything works on live action. Sometimes it's just best to just do a cartoon and just go forward. I'm sorry. Transformers, it's successful. I'll give it that. But how they treat the characters is a whole different story. I'll give Transformers this. I'll give it to Disney. Oh, Tevia, you just had to fucking say it. <laughs> I would just, oh, I, you know what I would kill for? Fucking give Power Rangers back to Disney. Oh, God. Oh, man. We had the best shit, Power Rangers, in Disney. Oh, man, that was great. That was awesome. Um... How do you feel about uh, him being the open? Oh, dude. I, 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 wait, wait. We'll save that for a future video. <laughs> oh, boy. You'll know my thoughts on that season when it comes out later next week. Get ready for that. But, I mean, oh. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying it. GI Joe has no fitting on live action. It failed three times. It failed three times. And all I'm gonna say is, like the general, and or was it the captain? I don't know. Been a while since I watched Rambo, but I hate to be that person saying it's over. It's over, Paramount. Stop trying. Stop it. Stop making G.I. Joe movies. You are a failure on G.I. Joe. Failure. Repeat. Failure. You cannot make that G.I. Joe movie be successful in live action. Maybe in cartoons. Hell, maybe in Paramount Plus. You might get another try at it as a show. As a show. But yet again, knowing you fucks, you probably fuck it up. Like you do with everything. You destroy Transformers, but you f- make it where it's somewhat successful because people will watch it and it's a toy commercial. G.I. Joe, not so much. That's all I'll say. Um, yeah, I got nothing else to say. I'm sure I'm going to get a dislike, and I'm sure I'm going to get those fucking Paramount shields and say to me, you're wrong, Edgar, you're wrong. G.I. Joe, this movie is great. This movie is awesome. Sure, sure it is. They fucking ruin every bit of fucking Snake Eyes. Every bit of him. Every bit of him. Look at the 
the whole reviews. Look at everyone that's honest, that's saying the fucking truth. It is a fact. They failed miserably. Absolutely. Failure. Fuck Paramount. They're no better than fucking bitch ass Warner Brothers. And I will be parting it up if one day, cross my fingers, they get bought by some other company and someone does a better job on G.I. Joe, Transformers, and fucking whatever they have. And just honestly, I hope to God that the, the new Transformer movie is amazing. I hope that it's everything that I want it to be. But knowing them, they'll probably fuck it up. Like they did with fucking Bumblebee. And everyone loves that fucking trash. Trash. Oh, God. Makes me want to puke. Oh, anyway. I'm done ranting. And I'm said my piece. Paramount should have no right to do a live action G.I. Joe movie as a film. Because they failed. Anyway, I'm done now.